Hey guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an excerpt from the lesson on how to play Testify by Steve Ray Vaughan. And this was kindly requested and supported by longtime supporter Tom. So huge thanks goes out, goes out to him for the support. And uh, in the past, I've done a lesson on Testify, on um, the same song, but uh, that was on the live uh, version. And in this lesson, it's going to be on the studio version, which is the uh, on the Texas Flood album. Uh, so even though they're quite similar, um, you know, in regards of uh, licks and phrases and stuff like that, there's still there are still some differences here and there. So this is just another version. If you would like to get uh, the link, is going to be in the description box down below. And with the download, you're going to be getting the uh, video lesson, uh, all of the tabs in PDF format, a backing track in two. Uh, versions one a slower speed and one is uh, you know the original uh, speed and also there is going to be a playthrough uh, which I'm playing the whole the entire song uh, at uh, 70 beat at 70 percent I'm sorry uh, of the original speed uh, you know the main uh, challenge here is of course this the speed that Stevie played uh, at this uh, this song so uh, that's why I did the 70% uh, of the uh, playthrough, which is going to be in included in the package, like I said. And, you know, it's just getting used to playing the uh, licks, learning them, of course, and then playing them up to speed. That's going to be the, uh, the biggest challenge. Uh, but that's what's going to be included in the uh, package. Um, and now I'm just going to show you a couple of uh, first rounds of the 12-bar uh, blues. Basically, it's a 12-bar blues. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, the uh, part of the lesson. If you'd like to purchase the full lesson, check out the links in the description box down below. Thank you very much for watching. By the way, we're going to be in half step down tuning. And uh, for this sound, I was using the VST plugin guitar rig. And I'm going to show you the picture of the preset right now. And while you are checking it out, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up, tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so as usual, we're going to break up the song into different parts and uh, I'm not going to be calling out every string and every fret. You can see that in the tabs. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, playing the sections, the parts, I'm going to break them up into licks and phrases and uh, I'm going to be playing them slowly so you can see and hear what's going on. And then I'll play the uh, whole section from start uh, till finish. and. Um, of course, where it's needed, I'm going to make a comment regarding a certain technique uh, or anything else. And uh, um, we're going to go like that, so section by section. And in the end, um, on the separate video, I'll make the uh, playthrough of the entire song played at uh, roughly 70% of the uh, original tempo because um, the song is played at a quite fast tempo. I believe it's 204 beats per minute, which is quite fast. So, um, you know, I suggest that you learn the licks and phrases uh, separately, section by section, at a, at a slow speed, and then just work on the speed. All right, so um, let's dive into it. So we're going to start off with the uh, with the intro riff, which goes like this. <laughs> So here I played it actually um, um, two times less. I mean, I played it for four times, I believe. The, um, in the uh, song, it's played for eight times. But uh, just wanted to show you, it's a repetitive um, riff. So it starts off with the slide uh, on the low E string uh, on the off beat, and then we go up. Uh, chromatically or using the uh, the blue scale here by the way we're gonna be in E it's a typical uh, E blues 12 bar blues progression so um, lots of I mean the most of the uh, the licks is based um, on the E minor pentatonic slash blues scale in the first position predominantly but um, 
you know, Steve is also using the uh, some chordal work. I'll I'll explain it later. But in general, it's just a blues in E. So back to the riff. Starts off with a slide on the low E string, and each of the notes we're going to be playing twice. So two eighth notes for each note, and then we go. Right. So on the A string, then we play the low E string open and then we add the chord which is the uh, dominant 7 sharp 9 but uh, sometimes he's not playing the third so he's, it's just like a minor chord like that um, so hitting the chord little rest then again the chord followed alternated with the low E string open then again the chord and then we're back to the beginning of the riff now the uh, the first time, the very first time he's playing the slide, the first note. But then after that he, he plays the uh, hammer-on from the um, A note to the B on the low E string. And for the rest of the uh, duration of that intro he's using the uh, the hammer on here. So that's pretty much about the uh, the beginning riff and then we have the uh, this chromatic um, run up to the uh, B dominant 7 chord. So as you get to the uh, to the E note then we have so it's 4, 5 six two times and then we land on the B note the B, playing the B7 chord here like that so that's pretty much it for the intro riff uh, let me play it again one more time just a few times uh, slowly it's gonna go like this to the uh, lead guitar uh, playing some licks and phrases we're gonna like I said break it up into licks and phrases so we're gonna start off with the first one so right before uh, we go into into the first lick there are some open strings and they are um, they're played like a passing notes there so don't pay too much attention to that it's just a, you know moving from one position to another and using some open strings but they're there if you want to play them all right so let's get into the uh, into the phrases so the first one so here we start off with the bends on a G string bending up bringing down pull off D string G string again adding some vibrato then we have just to pull off so then we have open strings again as passing notes then we have so here starting with the band on the G string kind of gradual band then we go to B high E B then we have band on the G string picking the B in the B string again then we have quick pull off on the G D back to G so again and here when you're bending the G string and uh, you're picking the B while the G string is still bent up like that and then you have pull off and then we have again quick pull off on the D string this time one more time the whole lick Again, we have open strings uh, passing as passing notes, and then the next part. All right, 
right so this one is a little bit lengthy one so again starting with the G string bend then we go so playing between B and E strings twice then we have bend on the B string then again between high E and the B then we have these notes on the B string so it's again bend on the G string catching the B then we have so a quick pull off bend on the G then you go B high E bend up bring down at some vibrato one more time from the beginning Next phrase. All right, so here we're starting off with a high E string, B, then bend on the G string, B, high E, B, bend in the G string. Again, we have the B here. So here on the G string, when we're bending it, and then we go right into the high E string. Bend and bring down. So one more time, the whole phrase. Next part. stop right here it goes uh, because a lot of flicks uh, uh, and phrases are tied together so have to make a stop somewhere so um, let's break it down into parts so the first part okay so high E B bend on a G string again B quick pull off back to the G string with a gradual bend here we have um, we play the B note here and let it ring out a little bit so it's as you can see it says for a quarter note and then we have so it's high E B and then you bend up the B string so it goes like this and as you bend it up, you stay on this note a little bit longer. Then we have... So, you, you pick the note and quickly bring it down the string. And then you go down the blue scale. Up until this moment, then we have... So it's on the G string. With the slight bend here, or you can add vibrato. And then we have all right so it's pretty much just um, playing uh, on the uh, E minor pentatonic uh, blues scale uh, just following the the patterns the um, the notes uh, right here in the end uh, on this ending phrase I'm using my thumb here to uh, play on the low E string because then we have this note it's just easier to play it like that so it's all right so in the end we we hit the uh, B9 chord and we slide out and that concludes the first part of uh, this song so let me go back to the beginning and I'll play the whole section uh, slowly starting from from the end of the uh, um, intro riff 
So it's gonna go like this. guys so that was it for this part i hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a thumbs up uh, if you'd like to continue learning the entire song check out the link in the description box down below thank you very much for watching uh, please comment share subscribe if you're new to my channel don't forget to visit guitarforge.com for more guitar lessons in the meantime i'll see you again take it easy and as always let the force be with you